Now we're going to blend some things. We need to deal with the circle equations, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to help us get that equation. So here's an equation of a circle. Um, I know that the center is at 3, 0, so that's pretty easy for me to start off the equation. I'm going to have x minus 3 quantity squared plus y. Oh, there's no, I'm not subtracting or adding anything, so I just go y squared equals radius. Well, let's look at this. It goes from a over 2. Uh, it doesn't go 3, and it doesn't go 4. It goes somewhere in between. 3 and 4. Well, i got to figure that out, and that's what we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem for. Find a point on the circle, B in this case, that actually hits at a cross here, hits at an integer location. You know, so we're looking at that. All right, and now we need to draw a right triangle to there, and that right triangle should go one leg in the x direction, one leg in the x direction, and then one leg in the y direction. So we're making a nice right triangle. Well, the radius is going to be the hypotenuse of that triangle. So now we just got to use Pythagorean theorem to find that hypotenuse. All right, that's pretty simple. We've done that millions of times. How big is this leg? It goes 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, so it is size 3, and this one goes up 2. So we've got 3 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared, and c squared is our r squared. And remember, that's what we wanted on this side of the equation. All right, so we've got 9 plus 4. 13 equals c squared. Awesome. Now usually we'd take the square root of that and find c, and therefore we'd find the radius, but we don't want actually the radius, we want the radius squared, which we already have it. So that's our equation. x minus 3 quantity squared plus y squared equals 13. All right, here we go with another one. Um, again, our center is at 3, 1. So our equation is x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared. And we need to find r squared. Well, so let's look across and no, it's not hitting at an integer. Um, and if we go up also, it's... No, it's not hitting at an integer. It's something a little bit more than one, two, something a little more than three. So we got to figure it out. Well, find a right triangle that ends on an integer, ends on a grid point. So that would be a right triangle that goes from here to here and up here. And then the radius would be that hypotenuse. Well, that's side one, and this right side is one, two, three. So I got 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared, which happens to also be our r squared, which is good because we want r squared on the right side of the equation. 1, 9, 10. 10 equals c squared, which also equals r squared. Awesome. So I just throw that in there. 10. Boom. All right, here's another one. You get this equation. And then I will write it. So hit pause, and then I'll do it. All right, so here we're going. Our center is at negative 2. So x, it's opposite. So it's going to be plus 2 squared plus, are we up or down? No, we're just y squared. Yeah. Some people don't like the parentheses, so I'll just get rid of the parentheses. I don't need the parentheses when I'm adding or subtracting something. All right equals, let's see, i got to find, uh, it looks sideways, no, it's bigger, it's not an integer, no, it's not an integer, all right, so then i got to draw a right triangle that ends on an integer, ends on a crosshair, over, uh, we're, we're going to go over one, up three, one squared plus three squared 
equals c squared, 1, 9, 10, boom, 10 goes in there. Hope that's what you got.